Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you the two important properties of views. The first one is padding and the other one is margin. And in this video, let's go ahead and experiment with these two different properties and find out how they differ from one another. I'm going to drag in an image view. Now let me place it at the corner. And I'm going to select this icon launcher as the resource and click on OK. So I have an image view here. Now I'm going to drag in another image view and I'm going to place it right below the first one. And I'm going to use the same image for this as well. So you can see that we have two different images or two different image views. And let's go ahead and set the padding and margin properties. Here, uh, for the first one, I'm going to set the margin property, which uh, I'm going to do from the XML. So this is the first pro image view. I'm going to set the margin property for this. And uh, let's choose 30 device independent pixels. Let me go back to the graphical layout and you, you can see that the image view has a margin all around it and it is offset by 30 device independent pixels on all the four sides. So you can see that the top has moved uh, by 30 device independent pixels. The left has also moved by 30 dps and the bottom also has a clearance of around 30 device independent pixel. And the right side also has a 30 dp clearance uh, which is not visible here because we don't have any other components to the right of our image view. And let me choose the second image and I'm going to select the uh, padding property and this padding property is also going to be 30 device independent pixels. So now you can see that uh, the placement of these two image views are almost the same because uh, it has an offset of 30 device independent pixels and even this has an offset of 30 device independent pixels. But you can see that there is an important difference here because when you set a margin for your view the view actually offsets its position based on the margin property. And the size of the view remains the same. Margin determines the placement of the view, but it is not the part of a view. Whereas when you look at padding, padding takes up space inside the view itself. In this case, the size of the view itself has changed. Whereas when we apply margin, size of the view does not change. Whereas in case of a padding, the size of the view changes entirely. And to make this even more visible, I'm going to give it a background color. In this case, I'm going to choose a built-in resource, Android column color slash black. And you can see that the background fills up the entire image view, including the padded area. Let's go ahead and apply the same background to this uh, image view, which has the margin property set at the rate of Android column color slash black. And you can see that the background fills only the area occupied by the image view itself, which in this case is just the content occupied by the image. Also, when you set a margin, only the position of the view changes and uh, any listeners assigned to that view takes up the size of the view only, not the margin. So if I have a click listener, the click listener will be activated only when I click within this area and if I try to click on this area which is the margin of the image there will be no responses whereas in case of view with a padding the click listener will take up the entire area of the padding also so if you click anywhere inside this area the click listener will be activated and uh, this and these two properties are almost similar to the CSS properties which uh, you might be familiar if you, are, you have, if you have worked on web applications or web pages before. However, Android does not have the border property. It has only the margin and padding properties. And uh, this is the idea behind padding and margins. And this is very helpful when you're trying to position your views appropriately. Uh, that's about it. And that's everything about the padding and margin properties. And if you have any questions on this topic, please feel free to ask. Thank you.